Hello, my name is Kong Kao, VP of Marketing at Imagex. Welcome to our tutorial on image editing. We created the image editing feature so you can transform images without dedicated design support. By using Image Editor, you also get robust image compression, in turn, better SEO and web performance. Because Imagex is a holistic platform, all your teams from engineering, marketing to product can easily upload, search, and manage visual assets from the same source of truth. So let me start the demo. For this demo, we created a fictitious business called Four Bottle Coffee, and I'm going to create a fall marketing campaign to bring in more customers. The promotional message will be posted across our website, social media, and email channels. For every channel, the image dimension and format requirements are different. Instead of asking a designer for help, I can create all the image variants in the Imagex Asset Manager. First, I like to update the website. After signing in, click Assets at the top. In Asset Manager, locate the desired image. Just double click on the image. You will see the metadata panel, which shows you the file name, type, image tags, and other information. To edit the image, click Editing in the top right corner. For the website image, we don't want to change too much. We just want to enhance it and optimize it for a faster page speed. Before making the change, let me highlight the file format and size. Once I turn on the file format operation, you can see the format changing from JPEG to AVIF. AVIF is a fantastic next-gen image format developed by Netflix. You can also see the file size dropping from 470 to 300 kilobytes which is a 36% decrease. By turning on the compression operation, the file size decreased again to 160 kilobytes. With two quick operations, I'm able to reduce the file size by 66%. This is going to improve the page loading speed and in turn, Core Web Vitals and SEO. The third operation I like to use is Enhance. By turning on Enhance, Imagex automatically applies a number of adjustments to make the image more vibrant. Now, I can grab the link for this edited image, come over to my CMS, and update the image link. One thing to know is that the edits won't be applied to the original image in the storage. To preserve a copy, Make sure you save the image link or download the edited file. Next, I want to take the same image and add it to my email newsletter. With my email tool, I know the image width has to be 1000 pixels or smaller. To change the image dimensions without changing its aspect ratio, just click the lock sign till it turns blue. Then change the width to 1000. Now, your image has a smaller width and height, but nothing is cropped out. With marketing tools like HubSpot, you can leverage image URLs instead of downloading then uploading images. This reduces clutter in your local drive and helps you improve your email loading performance. Finally, I want to change this image from landscape to portrait mode and upload it to Instagram. This time in Image Editor, unlock your aspect ratio, change the ratio from four to three to four to five. But now it crops out part of the clock, one of my favorite things in the image. To remedy this, scroll to the bottom, turn on focal point crop. This will help me crop and zoom to the desired portion of the image. To see where the focal point is, let's turn on the guides. 
both vertically and horizontally, the focal point values are set by default to 50, which is the center on either axis. To move the focal point to the left, let me change the x value to 40. I'm fairly happy, but I want to zoom in a little. To do this, let me change the z value to 1.2. And to get this model's full body, I'll change the y value to 100. So it's guaranteed to include the very bottom of the image. Because Instagram today doesn't accept AVIV, we should turn off auto format and change the format back to JPEG. Now I can download the image file, come over to Instagram, and create a new image post. To get started with image editing, create a free account at imagex.com today. As always, contact us if you want a demo or have any questions. Thank you for watching and see you next time.